Hey, um, this is a nice short and to the point email from Emily. Emily writes, I know you're very busy and get many emails each day, but I was watching your videos and one certain question is stuck in my mind, so I had to ask. If the anorexia gene is present in some people's bodies from genetics, are girls and women more prone to the gene since we see more women with anorexia? Or is it because more women tend to go into energy deficit? Or do men get it and are less likely to speak about it? Emily. Well, what a coincidence, because you've probably seen like all over everything, social media and stuff, that um, that study was released, the Angie study was released. Um, and we've already we already kind of knew there was a genetic locus for anorexia and i guess it just was a really huge study with a lot more participants that confirmed that there's a genetic um influence anyway we already knew that didn't we um so but your question is about are girls and women more prone to this gene well no i don't think so in my experience actually men get eating disorders just as much as women do um just like you said though it's just not recognized um and sometimes it presents differently not always i say sometimes it presents differently because well i guess we've got this stereotypical presentation of a person with say anorexia as being skinny underweight and that's the stereotypical presentation now if you listen to my podcast on atypical anorexia um that i did a couple of days ago you will know that I don't believe in atypical anorexia. I think it's actually very typical that a person can have anorexia and be in a much larger body than the stereotypical person with anorexia presents in. And so I think that first of all, women and men can have anorexia in any size body. And I also think that because the stereotype for a person with anorexia is somebody that's really skinny, a lot of women and men aren't diagnosed with anorexia. And I think that there may also be some truth in that the presentation of anorexia among men is even more that they present with the larger body and anorexia. And so even more men are therefore maybe considered a typical anorexia, which is actually very typical. But for that reason, like, they don't get diagnosed as well because a lot of the time men pr don't present as super skinny. Sometimes they do. Um, and more often than you might consider. I just think that a lot of the time when a guy is super skinny, it's more like, oh, he's just super skinny, <laughs> you know? Um, but whatever. So the point being, first of all, we have, we have lots of diagnosis problems. We have stereotypes that mean that treatment providers and others do not see restrictive eating disorder patterns and behaviors in men and in people that do not present with anything other than the stereotypical skinny body and so i think that why i see a ton in men and in women is anorexia or any other eating disorder presenting itself in this i'm just like super fit fitness freak presentation and it just got all the same stuff, you know, it's often just addicted to the gym, can't, obsessed with going and working out, really obsessive about what allowed to eat, doing all of these special diets and things like that, that are all hidden under the blanket of, I'm being fit and healthy and working out. And um, I think that it gets really overlooked, especially because a lot of doctors, just your general GP is like, go look at you how fit and healthy you are all working out and you eat your greens and um so that's a real problem if we could look not at bodies not the physical body but if we could look at mental state and diagnose anorexia purely from mental state and behaviors you know obsessions compulsions restrictions all of those things i think we'd get really close to actually properly being able to get a picture of what anorexia is which is indiscriminate can affect anybody with that genetic predisposition and you can't tell by looking at somebody whether they have that or not but I tell you one thing a lot more people have it than you think they have it they just don't get diagnosed because eating disorders can present themselves in all sorts of different ways and none are better or worse to be frank because they can all cause the same sort of mental suffering and the same sort of prison in your head that you don't feel that you can get out of so yeah I don't believe that men get eating disorders any more or less than women. I do not think that eating disorders discriminate by gender. 
I think that they are just not diagnosed quite as much in men. And often eating disorders can present very differently in men and women than the stereotypical skinny person. Thanks for the question, Emily.